Well, on this video, what I want to do is go over um, just a overview of the multipolar neuron. Um, there are four different types of neurons, um, but the neuron that is mostly depicted in models is the multipolar neuron. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to use this one here. This is the multipolar neuron. Okay. And here you can see uh, it's called multipolar because this cell body or soma is going to have a bunch of dendrites all around the poles of the cell body. That's why it's called multipolar neuron. Okay, so this multipolar neuron um, is going to receive a neurotransmitter by uh, uh, a presynaptic neuron or a nerve before this nerve um, via these structures called axon terminals, which you see here. Okay, it's an axon terminal. And uh, this axon terminal will drop off a neurotransmitter. Let's use the neurotransmitter ACH, uh, which is acetylcholine, uh, to simplify things, uh, to synapse or sit on this, uh, on this nerve. It can also, uh, the neurotransmitter that's being released by the axon terminal can also sit on not just a nerve but it can sit on a gland or a muscle so before we continue with this multipolar neuron let me um let me show you a model that shows that axon terminal so this is what an axon terminal looks like this is where the end of the uh, motor neuron or the nerve cell uh, is okay see a bunch of these vesicles here okay these vesicles are going to contain the acetylcholine which is right in here and you see how the synaptic vesicle um, fuses with the the membrane of the axon terminal and uh, and opens up and allows the neurotransmitter to be released and then it crosses this space called the synaptic cleft um, which then sits, the neurotransmitter sits on receptors on the postsynaptic cell. Again, postsynaptic, it could be a gland, a muscle, or a nerve, another nerve. Okay, so let me just name some components in here. Um, we got the synaptic vesicles that release the neurotransmitter. We have a mitochondria here. Okay, this uh, actually is the um, missile bodies here. Okay. Then we can call these uh, green things here the the neurofibrils or the neurofilaments. Okay, so that's the axon terminal. That's this structure that we saw on the. Um, let's see it here again. Right there, the axon terminal. Okay, that little thing right there. Okay, so that is that. Okay, so let's we see how the axon terminal synapses or sits on a dendrite which receives a neurotransmitter let's look at how it looks like in a uh, on a muscle okay so here you see the axon terminal okay right there let me look at it from the side here see the axon terminal right here sitting on a uh, uh, on the muscle cell um, you can see a little space right there in between it's called a synaptic cleft okay before we had a electron microscope well we had light microscopy but we didn't we couldn't see that there was a space uh, now we do um, so that's where the neurotransmitter travels through the synaptic cleft and then sits on receptors of the postsynaptic cell in this case the motor end plate and then the receptor picks up that neurotransmitter opens up channels which allows the sodium to come in potassium to go out um, and cause a depolarization uh, and then eventually a, um, the electricity will travel to the cell membrane. Okay, so um, let's continue back with our multipolar neuron. Okay. So um, the axon terminal releases a neurotransmitter, sits on dendrites. These are all dendrites. Okay. There's also some people ask, uh, you know, there's dendritic spines, there's more branches coming off of it, but they're all still part of the dendrite. Oh, and actually, prior to this axon terminal, we have this called teledendria. Okay. Okay. So 
neurotransmitter sits on the dendrite. This is called a cell body or soma. Here you can see the nissel bodies. Okay. All right. Here you can see the neurofibrils, these black lines here. Okay, these little black lines, these are the neurofibrils. And the neurofibrils act like a cytoskeleton, gives the cell body its shape and also the whole nerve. Okay, kind of like the skeletal system does in our bodies, gives us our shape. Um, uh, so to do, do these neurofibrils. And not only that, they also, uh, neurofibrils run along the axon and they act like tracks for a train that allow these uh, uh, mitochondria and nissel bodies to travel retrograde transport, which means that the you can have transport back and forth um, on the neurofibers. Okay, uh, what else do we have? We have the nucleus, which is this structure here, and we have the nucleolus, okay, in here. All right. Okay, now, this cell body will get depolarized, get electrified, okay, and then it'll build up so much electricity that it goes beyond threshold, which is below minus 55 millivolts, okay? So when it goes from minus 70 to minus 55, nothing happens, but at minus 55 to plus 20, the electricity will travel down the axon. And eventually travel down the axon, it's missing uh, what goes after this here, but just imagine this being connected here. That, okay, Ooh. maybe not. Put it this way, no, you can't see it. <laughs> but it will connect here. These you can see the inner part of the motor neuron in there. You can see the myelin sheets and the axon in there. So to here you can see the myelin sheets and the axon. So those connect right there. All right, and then after uh, after the electricity goes down the axon, then it goes to the axon terminal, and then we saw that the axon terminal will eventually release the neurotransmitter via the synaptic vesicles, and then that neurotransmitter will sit. And that neurotransmitter will sit on the um, on the uh, uh, on the cell, whether it's muscle, gland, or nerve. Okay. Other components we have the axon hillock, which is where the electricity fires down the axon. That's where it begins. See, this is the axon right here. Okay. Now the axon and the uh, okay, these things right here that look like kind of like like hot dogs. Okay. These things that are. Uh, they kind of resemble like a string of sausages, like if you ever see in New York, uh, you know, the street corners, they, you know, the vendors, they sell uh, little string sausages and, you know, you just take them. Well, this is the same thing, axon. Axon has Schwann cells around it, so the string would be the axon and the Schwann cells would be the sausages, okay? Now, the Schwann cells, they have uh, certain components to it. Here you can see the layers of the Schwann cells, that's called uh, the myelin sheets. Here you can see the Schwann cell nucleus. The outer layer of the Schwann cell is called the neurolemma. That will be like the skin of the sausage or the hot dog, okay? And the importance of the Schwann cells is that they allow the electricity to travel at a much higher rate uh, than, than, if they weren't than if they were not present, okay? So electricity, instead of traveling down the axon little by little, the Schwann cell allows the axon, I mean the electricity, to travel from node to node, which these structures here are called the nodes of Ranvier. Okay. So myelinated axons, which have Schwann, you know, myelinated means that it has Schwann cells, unmyelinated, no Schwann cells, um, will allow the electricity to travel much faster, okay, which is important because if you want to think of moving your muscle, uh, you don't want to take about a few seconds to do it. You want to do it right away. And these myelin sheets allow you to do it very quickly. Okay, um, other components. So so now the roads of Ranvier, we got that. The, maybe some other things here around the axon, okay, because the axon's right here in the middle. Okay. Um, you have the axolemma. lemma, okay. Um, we already did the neural lemma, which just surrounds the Schwann cell. And then we have the endoneurium, which is connected tissue and holds the cells in place. Then after endoneurum, you have perineurum and epineurum. And epineurum will actually surround the whole nerve at that point, which is much bigger. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the multipolar neuron. Just wanna make this a really short, uh, a, a brief video. Um, and uh, other, than, other than 
I think that's about it. I don't have anything else. All right, well, that's all for the multipolar neuron. Hopefully this video will help you out. Well, take care. Good luck. Bye-bye.